Hello people, this is Eva Cobra and this is Let's Play Dragon Age Origins Blind. Now, I would actually have made a video a lot sooner, but, uh, well, since I was very sure, certain, that I would um, actually play this game now and actually like it, I went ahead and got the Dragon Age Ultimate Edition, because the way, I, the, after the calculations I made, I figured that, um, well, I figured that uh, it would actually be cheaper than buy all the DLC and the expansion separately. Unfortunately, <coughs> after I bought the DLC, well, the Dragon Age Ultimate Edition with all the DLC and the expansion, everything was, well, I registered it, it showed up on my Bioware uh, page. I gotta say that's a long time since I've been in there. It's about a half year ago, half a year ago when I downloaded some content from Mass Effect. Anyway, um, I registered it all. I registered the game. I entered the game, and all of my DLC was on my computer, and showed up as being unauthorized. Yep, I bought it, but I couldn't use it. Good lord. And the last two days, I've been fighting with my computer, trying to make it work. And it finally worked when I got the... Uh, the Dragon Age Diagnostics tool or something like that. And it's just been very frustrating. But now all the DLC work and I can actually use it. So, we'll have a bit more to play with now. And I'll of course also be doing the extra campaigns and the expansion pack when we come so far. So yeah. Um, by the way, I couldn't manage to save either Sir Perth or Murder. In Sir Perth's case, he ran into the fire and died. And I think it might be in everyone's best interest that it stay that way. Sometimes, people just die because they're dumb. And stand in fire. And maybe, humanity as a whole will be stronger for it. I like the guy, but he wasn't that bright. I'm sorry to say it's Sir Perth, but maybe you've done more by dying <laughs> than by living. Murdoch, unfortunately, I couldn't save either. Completely surrounded by zombies. They apparently recognized how epic he was and decided to jump on all of them at once. Couldn't manage to save him. Didn't have a healer. So, well, there's that. So, so I'll personally ensure that whoever was responsible for this undead invasion will be dealt with accordingly. I will avenge Murdoch. And I'll do so with my magical powers. With that said, said and done, uh, some couple of things. I remember the barman wanted to talk to me once the battle was over. And that guy wants to talk with me up on the hill. So, let's get that done. I admit, for a while, I didn't think either of us would survive. It's good to see you did. Well, thank you. Anything I can get you? Good luck to you then. Ah, I thought I was supposed to talk to her about your help with um, Lloyd over there, but fine. I mean, I won't force my help upon anyone. Destination: Castle Redcliffe. Hopefully. Ah, yes, the place where Sir Perth fell in the fire. Honestly, Liliana joined him soon after, and Alice would probably also have done it too, hadn't I been fortunate enough to actually manage to heal him. What? Ooh, a flower! Oh, that's a gift! Yeah, by hearing a bit about gifts. The windmill. All right. I once took a ride on the sails of the windmill. Didn't turn out well. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, I could imagine how that would go wrong. Okay, Banty again. Let's talk. Odd how quiet the castle looks from here. You would think there was nobody inside at all. It's like everybody's dead. I shouldn't dead. delay things further. I had a plan. To enter the castle after the village was secure. There is a secret passage here, in the mill, accessible only to my family. That's convenient. <laughs> Perhaps I should have gone into the castle earlier, but I could not leave the villagers. Maker's breath. What now? Um... Tigan. Thank the Maker, you yet live. Isolde. You're alive. Where did How did you... Alice speak of her? What has happened? I do not have much time to explain. I slipped away from the castle as soon as I saw the battle was over. And I must return quickly. And I... need you to return with me, Tika. Alone. Yeah, that, that doesn't sound suspicious at all now, does it? What? I... Who is this man, Tigan? You remember me, Lady Isolde, don't you? Oh. Alistair. Of all the... Why are you here? They are Grey Wardens, Isolde. I owe them my life. Pardon me, I... I would exchange pleasantries... I doubt it. Considering the circumstances... Please, Lady Isolde, we had no idea anyone was even alive within the castle. We must have some answers. I know you need more of an explanation, but I... I, I don't know what is safe to tell. Tigan, there is a terrible evil within the castle. The dead waken and, and haunt the living. The mage responsible was caught, but still it continues. And I think Connor is going mad. We have survived, but he won't flee the castle. He has seen so much death. You must help him, Tigan. You are his uncle. You could reason with him. I do not know what else to do. Yeah, who's this mage? He is an infiltrator, I think. Uh, one of the castle staff. We discovered he was poisoning my husband. That is why Eamon fell ill. Uh. Eamon was poisoned? He claims an agent of Terran Logains hired oh, him. Oh, God. He may be lying, however. Can this guy pa possibly piss me more off? You know what? I shouldn't tempt fate. Oh no, what else this guy's up to? Uh. Yeah. You're, that's, that's something you're not telling us. I. I beg your pardon? That's a rather impertinent accusation. Mm. <laughs> An evil I cannot fathom holds my son and the husband hostage. King for help. What more do you want from An me? explanation! But I do not understand what you mean by this evil. Did it create the walking corpses? What is it? Something the mage unleashed. So far it allows him and Connor and myself to live. What about the guard the back there? Not so fortunate. It killed so many and turned their bodies into walking nightmares. <laughs> Once it was done with the castle, it struck the village. It wants us to live, but... I do not know why. It allowed me to come for you, Tigan, because I begged, because I said Connor needed help. Um. Uh, yeah. Why go alone? For Connor's sake. I promised I would return quickly and only with Tigan. Tigan, I know you could order your men to follow me when I return to the castle. I beg you not to. For Connor's sake. Yeah, is it a demon? I... I do not know. Oh, Maker's mercy. Could it truly be a demon? I, I can't let it hurt my Connor. You must come back with me, Tigan. Please. Okay. The king is dead, and we need my brother now more than ever. I will return to the castle with you, Isabel. Nice knowing you. <gasps> Thank the Maker. Bless you, Tiga. Bless you. Yeah. I cannot let Isolde return alone. Perhaps I can help Connor or Eamon. Perhaps this is really a trap, but this is my family. I must Well, pass. can't see that. I have no illusions of dealing with this evil alone. You, on the other hand, have proven quite formidable. Well, thank you. Isolde, can you excuse us for a moment? We must confer in private before I return to the castle with you. Please do not take too long. 
I will be by the bridge. Here's what I propose. I go in with Isolde, and you enter the castle using the secret passage. My signet ring unlocks the door. Perhaps I will distract whatever evil ah. is inside and increase your chances of getting in unnoticed. What and Isolde doesn't know it. Okay. I wish I That's knew. That's actually quite smart. I don't know any more about this evil force than Isolde seems to. I don't think we can afford to strip any of the few defenders the village has left, just in case. Here is my signet ring. It will open the lock on the door in the mill. Whatever you do, Eamon is the priority here. If you have to, just get him out of there. Isolde, me, and anyone else, we are expendable. Uh, I'll do my best. You are a good man. The Maker smiled on me indeed when he sent you to Redcliffe. So we are just going to send him with that woman? It seems so dangerous. But I can delay no longer. Allow me to bid you farewell. And good luck. Yeah. See you, dude. Hi, Harris. Move along, friend. Okay. Thank you. Uh, okay. Let's go. And we're inside the wind windmill now. Oh, and loot. I love that and some help. <laughs> Correspondence interrupts new codex. Let's see what this is all about. Ah. A collection of embarrassing personal communication between the spawned wealthy and the object of it possession. You are a filthy beast. No, you are filthy. A beast. So depraved I have never been forced to suffer. How words are so Latin when they leave your lips. It's beyond decent imagining. Madam, I love you. Sir our gold. Hmm. Harsh words, but some relationships do enjoy speaking dirty to each other and Alright. Why not? Hmm. That must have been a bit of a walk. The castle was a bit far away. I up locked though. myself in a cage once when I was a child. For an entire day. Ah, good times. Good fortune is not something that comes easy to you, is it, Alistair? Oh, great. Take this! Up goes the zombie! Hope some of the others got infected too. Would be nice. Oh, they got choir on and everything. Nice. Oh damn, none of them went pop. Okay. Hello? Is there someone out? Wait, that, you gotta be Who is it? You By all that's holy you You? I can't believe it. Yeah. Maker's breath, how did you get here? I never thought I'd see you again of all people. Oh bloody. Ah Yeah. This is you have a habit of placing yourself in very unfortunate situations. You've spoken with her. Then you know I poisoned Al Eamon. For all I know, he's already dead. Yeah. And it's not dead. Well, that's what she said. He's not? That's a relief. I can't tell you how much. After you poisoned him? Please, I know how it seems. Poisoning the Al was... Uh, a terrible thing. But I'm not behind everything else happening here, I swear! I've seen you in action, you know. Before I say anything else, I need to ask you a question. You can do whatever you feel you need to afterward, but I need to know. What became of Lily? They didn't hurt her, did they? The thought that she might have paid for my crime. Even after all this time, he still cares about her. <sighs> poor young fool. Oh, my poor Lily, she must hate me now, if she even lives. What have I done? So, here we are again, the two of us. What happens now? Well... Can... Explain! I... I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. 
I was already imprisoned when all that began. At first, Lady Isolde came here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the Arl. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So they left me to rot. Uh, so why did you poison him? I was instructed to by Terran Logan. Oh, right. I was told that Arl Eamon was a threat to Ferelda. That if I dealt with him, Loghain would settle matters with the Circle. All I wanted was to be able to return. But he abandoned me here, didn't he? Everything's fallen apart. I never thought it would end like this. Maker, I've made so many mistakes. I've disappointed so many people. I wish I could go back and fix it. I just want to make everything right again. Well, that's a start. Well, it's a start, maybe. I don't know if anything I do could ever make it right. Yeah, so that you are... Connor had started to show... signs. Lady Isolde was terrified the Circle of Magi would take him away for training. Connor? A mage? I can't believe it. Mm -hmm. She sought an apostate, a mage outside the Circle, to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. <sighs> Isn't taking magically talented kids away from their parents such a great idea? I mean, it is no way inflicting sorrow and horror upon people across the land. No, it's a good thing. Look, I understand that people with this kind of talent need training. I mean... It's not like a gun where it's training you to take up. You're literally born with the ability to fling fireballs. And yes, you need training for that. I can see that. But isolating women, taking them away from the families, I cannot agree with that. And on that note, maybe he did this. I thought that too. Connor has little knowledge of magic, but he may have done something to tear open the veil. With the veil to the Fade torn, spirits and demons could infiltrate the castle. Powerful ones could kill and create those walking corpses. Great. Yeah, what did he teach me? Some. But he's still very young. He can barely cast a minor spell, never mind something more powerful. At least not intentionally. Like I said, he may have torn the veil accidentally. If he's involved in this at all, I really don't know. Huh. The Arl's a decent man. I wondered how he could possibly be the threat Loghain said he was, but I did it anyway. I'm such a fool. 